Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News DLC release date. So that means it's Tuesday, right? I don't know anymore as days are actually flying by this summer. Anyways, today in news, we get to take a look at maybe one of the best cow barn mods I have actually ever seen for Farming Simulator. Plus, Lancy Boy has some news on his American Falls and it ain't good. The test list is here and there is 31 mods on that list. Now, question of the day. What feature would you like the farming simulator to expand on? Mine would have to definitely be animals. We actually need some full-fledged ranches in farming simulator. What about you? Let me know in the comments. Also, remember, before we get to that news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro. Let's see this news. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage. We'll play loud, surfing the crowd. Welcome back. Okay, so that first piece of news to get to today is some bad news. If you guys woke up, hey, I'm going to download American Falls. It came out yesterday on PC. Well, guess what? It has been removed off the mod hub. Uh, Lancy Boy actually removed it like at 2 o'clock my time this morning. Uh, basically, it was getting not so good ratings uh, from the PC community. He spent tons and tons of hours on this. It was a pretty much a passing project and it wasn't getting the reception that he was hoping for. So at this time, he has actually removed it. No word yet if he's gonna be bringing it back though. Oh yeah, I'm just actually hoping that it does come back. It is an amazing map. If you guys would like to tell Lancy Boy that you guys would love to see American Falls come back onto the mod put down in the comment section below, Lancy Boy, tell him we support him. Okay, with that being said, let's get to some other news for today. First one, actually second one, sorry is a release the dlc did release today and that is the horse aggravation pack if you guys are on pc and you guys are interested in getting this pack make sure you guys use the club's affiliate link down in the description helps out the club and it doesn't cost any extra but anyways what is included with this a new map uh the aggravation farm and then of course 14 new machines by horse stuff like the avatar 1225 cedar we got the joker ada rt you got a Pronto 3DC Cedar, a Transformer 12VF. So a lot of good stuff right there. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this DLC. I'm telling you guys put a lot of stuff in the comment section below. Okay, now let's get to that regular piece of news for today. And we have something for new modding. The major LGP 2050 slurry tanker is actually making excellent progress, as you guys can tell from these pictures right here. Remember, there is no release date on this, but he did say that this will be for all platforms. And after that one, we have some news from actually Mr. Francoeur, which of course you guys know him as a YouTuber, a streamer and stuff. Well, he actually made three mods. Well, these mods have now actually gone into testing. This is the free range chickens, the temporary grazing pasture, and the temporary grazing pasture sheep. He says after having to justify the chicken pen earlier, he expects that all three mods will probably fail testing. So just patience on that one, guys. Okay, the next we have some news from Hispano Mod it says, as you can see, this is already taken good shape. In addition to this version, there will be another configuration with synthetic fiber cover and another pickup configuration, which will be the one to which you can attach all accessories and they will not be fused. So there's gonna be a lot of different kinds of accessories you can actually attach to this. This is a very interesting kind of truck. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Have you guys ever seen a truck like this before? Let me know. Okay, then we have some news from Mr. Hector Mods. Actually, something bad happened yesterday. Well, someone stole one of his assets actually from his Carpathian countryside map, which if you guys have not taken a look at that map, make sure you guys do. It's a really good map. But anyways, he made a post yesterday saying, no, 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 definitely not like this. This is just disgusting how somebody think they can just steal work of somebody else. Cannot even describe how much disgusted I am right now. He's ready content giants. Hope they will respond soon, which they did. It, they took it down, and he said thanks to Giants for a quick, quick response. I don't know why people actually steal other people's mods and try to pass them off as their own mods. And Mr. Hector also said, and the worst part of it all is, he did not even try. It is the exact copy of his own work. It is obvious everywhere you take a look, the i3d, the XML, textures, and other files, the look itself is totally obvious to everybody. Just... That is just crazy about mods getting stolen. Okay, now let's get to the last piece of news for today, which is from Kevin Winter, his latest project. And this is probably one of the best 
cow barns I've ever seen on Farming Simulator. Lots and lots of detail on this. But he says, our latest project's pending on the mod up. So it sounds like it's actually going on to the mod up. Just don't know if it's going to be coming to console. Just keep your fingers crossed, guys. Hopefully it doesn't. I can tell you what, these pictures, it makes, makes Bucks County look really good having that Bucks County water tower in the background. Wow. What do you guys think about this cow barn? Okay, now with all that out of the way, what's left to get to? We have that testing list for today. There is 31 mods on this testing list. Yes, they do say PC, but does not mean PC only. Just means they're in the first stage of testing. First stage PC, second console, third release. Let's go over some notable ones. We have the Cow Barn XL. We have the temporary grazing pasture, which we were just talking about. The Tatra Phoenix Rudolph pack, the American Husbury set. The Demco 1200 gallon side quest. Uh, Monet Workshop. The TLX 3500 series and the TLX 1982 special. Those are updates with Lizard Beat Card and Global Explorer. Kingdom Mods Movie Test is 134. Courage Wait Time is only seven working days. Well, right there was all the news and testing list for today. Now, today's schedule is no live stream till tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, which of course will probably be back on American Falls. It was actually a pretty good day in mods though, with Bally Spring releasing and the Volvo releasing. Remember, all the links to the news and test list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator. And make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss any of the videos here on the channel. Well, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth